Good day, beautiful souls. This is Miss Isis. So we're going to do some tarot for beginners. Today we're going to discuss the tarot of the aces specifically. And we have the ace of wands. Then we're going to talk about the ace of cups. Then we'll talk about the Ace of Swords, and then the Ace of Pentacles, and what do they mean in your reading? These are very important. The Ace of Wands is a suit which is embodied from the element of the root of the Aces, which is the nearest suit and that root has its beginnings in heaven. The aces are very powerful cards. They are the most powerful cards in the minor arcana. And when you get an ace in a reading, you know something big is happening. A strong force is present and you take it seriously. Each of these is very close to the element itself now let us take a look at the ace of wands it is at the top of the tree of the life the kether therefore the ace of wands is in the tree of life at the kether therefore it is the spirit to be a karante Ace of Wands is a masculine card. The Wands is valent, looking so alive with the leaves showing on the showing on the rushing of the spring. And the leaves are like yods. In the Hebrew alphabet, yod he vav he yod. So we take a look at that. There is a power here, valiant and passionate, when the Ace of Wands comes into the reading, and well-dignified, unrushing force of life. When showing in the negative, the Ace of Wands means dampening and all blocked up in manifestation. The Ace of Cups is a feminine rather than a masculine as the Ace of Wands is a masculine. And the Ace of Cups relates to the emotions, the psyche, the development, the feelings and intuition and creativity of love. We see what a loving card it is and as the dove, which is sacred to the Venus, descends upon the cup of receptivity and fills the cup that it runs over when you get the Ace of Cups in a reading, you are highly pretentious. There is love, yearning, psychic development, caring, and inspiration on the negative. We see that the Ace of Cups is draining and going down and the emotions are creativity are blocked up and someone who is totally self-absorbed. We have the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is really the most important of all the cards of the Minor Arcana as the Ace of Swords changes suits and the ace beginning being the most powerful of swords it represents ultimate change change is coming change in your process this is the sword of truth and it represents the middle pillar of the tree of life at the top of its crown is the kappa
and then we have the six yods. For your hair of hair. The six of ferret, which are a representation of the sun, which is a direct reflection of the Kepta. Each of the aces has the hand of God, as we have seen, and the hand of God is in its own self, its own personality, and as we see it on the sword, it is strong. Gallant, holding the sword of truth, showing in its reading that we know a change is yet to arrive and it will be drastic and positive. To see it in the negative would be identifying that someone is untruthful, they are no good, they are deceptive, no <laughs> and their chain is blocked. The Ace of Pentacles is not just a coin. Oops, sorry. Oof, my phone has flipped. Okay, it's not just a coin that we see. It is a magical symbol of earth in the garden, the garden of Eden, and it represents the pentacle of manifestation. Anytime you get a pentacle, it represents manifestation. Therefore, if you get the ace of pentacles in the upright position with the loving hand of God, crescenting it out of the clouds, the hierarchy, and yet below what we have is the earth growing in abundance. We find security and stability in the positive, but in the negative, you will find instability, insecurity, and therefore you should take a new pathway. I Thank you all for watching, and I wish you all a beautiful day.